good morning good afternoon whatever applicable to your geographical location thank you once again for tuning into our channel that is people's reaction today we have very interesting topic that is itl v4 oh did i say it right is it itl v4 no it's not it's itl4 because itl has dropped the v keyword so now it's itl4 not v4 so during this topic during this session today we'll try and discuss about uh, very key components that change in itl v4 rather we'll be talking about uh, itl's alignment in product and service industry why do we use it in 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 product and service industry so before we go ahead let's go to the agenda first so agenda would be a brief history about itl why do we use it and then what is a framework alignment one of the popular question in the, um, the mind of everybody who is working with product and service industry that is it a framework or methodology we'll try and discuss that these points and then we'll also look at the iso standpoint on itl what does iso say so this will be um, rather these will be the agenda for today's session and uh, i'm going to promise you that the 10 minutes which you are going to spend with us will be really memorable we'll add some more treasures in your ITL knowledge. So let's go ahead, check out what we have. So before we proceed further, we'll try and see what does ITL mean. As we everybody know that ITL is a, is, is a book containing recommendation suggestion to improve your IT service professioning. Specifically, it talks about the service management and asset management alignment um, in your organization to, to improve your service provisioning to the customer now that is something we already aware of so what's new here is we'll try and find out what are the key points in itl4 and why do we say that itl is to be used in product and service industry the first thing before we go ahead that itl is not um, organization or industry standard certification it's not a compliance for organization it's an individual skill set people who are working inside the organization. First is, it's an individual certification, not the organization level compliance. Second is, the international um, organization for standard, I mean ISO recommends you, underpins you to use the ITL framework for effective usage of your IT service provisioning in your organization. Third important takeaway from this slide is that uh, from 2000-2013, ITL, their intellectual property has been maintained by Exelos. Exelos is a company, uh, UK cabinet office and Capita have formed an organization, a joint venture. Those who, um, this company is responsible for, for all the licenses, provisioning, um, tie up with the examination centers and uh, modifying the ITL intellectual properties so that is under their belt so this is what I the the ITL for specifically stresses us on we will also know that uh, this ITL has drop ITL V uh, prefix now moving to the next slide, ISO. When we say that again, last slide, that ISO underpins you to use ITIL as a framework to um, uh, to effective usage of your IT service of your organization. What is this ISO? ISO is International Organization for Standard. It's an international or um, it's a international organization has center main center in Geneva. Uh, one of the key takeaway from ISO is the ISO out of 192 geographical dislocated countries that we have on this in the surface of earth out of 192 167 members are of ISO means that any company that deals with product or service they have kind of recognition to this ISO It's kind of international forum where um, every company uh, uh, came up with the idea that we need to have a centralized authorities to supervise the service 
and uh, product and service industry super supervising their capability. So ISO was formed and they have like different standards. Their representative come here, they do the audit of your organization and depending upon your um, uh, company's performance, company's um, compliance, they'll provide you certification. They have different certificate st standards. Like uh, if you see the right, actually we have quality standards, which is ISO 9000. So ISO 9000 typically talks about the quality management. You might have seen this ISO 9000, um, probably on a water bottle or any product that you which, which you probably have bought, which talks about quality, probably a water bottle. It says that a company who manufactured that product is ISO 9000. Is maintaining the quality. They are maintaining quality as per the guidelines given by ISO. Now, if you look down, actually, the yellow marked one, ISO 27001, which is Information Security Management System, ISMS, that stresses you to use ITIL framework. ITSM is responsible for IT um, security management. Is stressing the point that when you indulge in a client communication, where you talking to customer, identifying or probably gathering their details, how you're keeping their details safe, these things are governed. That standard ISO 27001 recommends you to use ITL. Now going forward, we'll try and see what is the ITL. Is it a framework or a methodology? Now this is one of the popular questions that every individual probably have come across with. So we'll try and find out. The framework is, is like a canvas, loosely structured, given to you to create your company's requirement or design it as per your company's requirement. It's a like skeleton given to you and then you can frame your company's requirement accordingly. Like a, proper agenda is, a kind of proposal is given or a framework is given to create a house, that a house should have a kitchen room, balcony, these walls and a roof. So one of the, uh, and, and this IT service management framework is ITIL. The popular, one of the popular, a few popular uh, frameworks in the market is, rather are, is COBIT, ETOM, and ITIL, the one we are discussing here through these slides. Methodology, on other hands, that gives you step-by-step -step instruction to manage a particular project. Like an example, real-life example, if I would portray that, I would say, let's say your house is created by framework. But in the kitchen room, how would you place your probably utensils or boxes where you can quickly fetch your uh, required materials to make coffee or tea? That would be step-by-step -step instruction under methodology. So methodology is kind of step-by-step -step instruction. Methodology focus on Agile actually. Agile means the lean structure, which is probably removing the non-value adds out of your process or from your company to align it as per the customer's requirement. One of the popular, um, few popular Agile methodologies that we have in the market, you might have heard, Scrum, Crystal, Kanban, FDD, they are the popular ones. One of the important takeaway from this one is ITL is a framework and framework gives you that uh, capability to utilize the methodology inside it to harness the goodness of a particular methodology. However, methodology cannot squeeze in the framework. So that is the difference between methodology and framework. And ITIL is one of the most popular framework that we have in the market for IT service provisioning. And one, more, one more thing to remember is that um, Framework has methodologies like continuous improvement. However, as you know that uh, a lot of companies that are using BQF continuous improvement, because it's a methodology, and methodology can squeeze an inside framework. So that's why companies who are following the framework, ITL framework, you might see that they're using Scrum as well. So, by the end of session, you would be, um, now we'd rather know that you would be able to answer those questions. And, uh, like, why company stresses you out to use the ITIL? Where does ITIL start? Is it a framework or methodology? So I hope that you have found the answer of these questions and it was a memorable one for you. 
So thank you so much for joining it again. We'll be we'll be conducting another session or probably we'll be coming back to you again with a useful presentation. So till then, bye bye, take care. And if you're a first time user, I will suggest you to please like, share, subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. Cheers, bye.